he apologized. Yes. <laughs> Thank God, though. Thank God, a maker has finally changed. My sister, he promised never to cheat us bad again. Hmm. <laughs> I just pray this change continues. I pray he, he continues to be a good husband and a good father to our children. Susanna, for him to take you to church today, it means he has changed. And this is for real. Seriously. Are you sure? You're right. Um, Susanna. Your problem is that girl. Eh? You see that Doris, eh? She's a maker's problem. Seriously. If you can succeed in removing that girl out of your way, your marriage will be blessed. I am telling you. Hey, but the problem is, uh, how can I remove her out of the way? I think I should put more strength in my husband changing than trying to remove. If I remove this one, he carry another one. Uncle. I go. Why yo? Why yo? Are you not a woman? No, are you not a woman? Eh? Other ladies fight their side chicks so they can keep their marriages. You have to wake up, wake up and fight for what rightfully belongs to you. You have to wake up. Seriously, you don't have to tremble in opposition or changes. You don't have to. Fight, wake up and fight for what belongs to you, for what rightful is yours. Fight! Fight! That is what I want. No problem. I'll, I'll put everything in prayer. You see that, Doris? Eh? She's a thief here. Eh? Why you are the rightful owner? Seriously, the rightful owner, they are always bored. They are always bored. Why the thief? They are scared. They are scared. In your own case, you, you, are, you are the rightful owner and you are, you are scared. Why she there is the thief here? She's busy parading your husband everywhere in this village. That is an error and it has to be corrected. Seriously, act fast. Thank you. Like I said, I'll, I'll do my best to make sure I keep my home. Thank you. Oh, well, you've been very supportive and I appreciate you. I like you. I just want you to bounce back seriously. Let me quickly head back home. Oh, and just see a rice and Thank you. Thank you. Mambo. Oh. Fight. Oh my God. Susanna, hurry up now. Look at the time. I'm ready for potatoes already. Hurry up, you're never in a hurry to do anything in your life. What's wrong with you? Just bring your children and let me take them to school, then I can go to where I'm going. I'm sorry, my Look husband. at the time, look at how long it took you to bring these kids out. I'm sorry. You've been here for too long, you know I'm traveling. You know it's more easy to wake these children up, to bag them and cook for them. Oh, and it's okay, um, let's let them come, let's go. You up here. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. What, what are they wearing? Why, why are they wearing rags? Wait, and you expect them to hop into the car like this? You want me to carry them to school? I can't carry them in my car like this. They I can't be looking this I way. Are they not your children? And so, even they're my kids, they can't be looking this way and enter this car. It's not possible. I mean, maybe we'll just leave it next time. I would try to They will to still be them. like this next time. Yes. Unless you give me some money to make new school uniform for them. That's the problem. It's okay. Just, just hold on. I'm coming. You all should wait here. It's okay. Daddy loves you. Eh? Eh? No, he's not going to take us to school. Don't worry. We can even lose the game for them. When you make a new school uniform, Daddy will take you. Okay. Just take this. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Change their uniform. You can change their bag if there's need for that, but just get rid of these things. And please, I don't want to see these clothes anywhere around this house again. All right. Um, I'm already late for my journey, actually. I need to be up now. No problem, my husband. We use Keke na Pepe. Um, let them use Keke. Let them not enter this car. No problems. No problems. Um, Jay. Okay. 
please open the gate for me. And when you open the gate, go to the next junction and make sure you find the that they use to go to school. Yes, sir. All right? That's good. In my place. You have not come here before. I hope all is well. All is not well. And all cannot be well with the way Mwagi Sieme. Please, ma, I am here to warn you to tell your daughter to stay away from my husband. Please. Because the way you are laughing and pretending as if you don't know what I'm talking about, your daughter now owns a car. As a virtuous Christian mother, you are supposed to ask her, what are you doing for a living? Can I be single to go? But no, each enjoyment, party after party, imandria. Obrugina moti ine eme enjoy. But let me make it clear to you. My husband bought that car for her. To avoid mu e na mota ha oko. Let her stay away from my husband. Just look at me. Mu nechi ama na aso odogu. Look at me. My husband no longer takes care of me. Physically, emotionally, financially. Man cause on wari hen na afo. All his attention is now on your daughter. Your daughter, you go thank you. You don't mention my marriage. I am, I am begging you as a mother. Warn your daughter to stay away from my husband. If I get her anywhere close to my husband again, I will, what I will do, what I will do to her, you will not recognize her again. Hey, mama's going on. That's why I decided to come. If she dares go close to my husband again after this warning, after this official family warning, hey God, I will so embarrass her. I will make a video of her, strip her naked, post on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, everywhere, so that the world will know how shameless she is. Let her carry her big bomb and stay off my matrimonial home. <laughs> Hey, Susanna, if there's anybody you have a problem with, it was your husband, not me, not my daughter. Did you see me in your house? Did you see my daughter in your house? What is your problem? I took a name, So, you, you, you know my daughter, right? I heard you say, Big Bombo. So, you saw that Big Bombo, and you don't know that your husband has fallen for the Big Bombo. If you are the man, won't you fall? Just carry yourself and leave my compound now. Jesus. Carry me yourself and leave my whole compound now immediately. Oh. Jesus. What is wrong with you? I don't, I don't understand. Is this what you have to say? Is this what you're saying? What else am I supposed to say? So you don't know that a man is capable of marrying as many wives as he can take care of. Then let her wait. Let him come and marry her. Married, eh, now let her wait. Now let's come and pay bride price. He has not married her. So right now, your daughter is trespassing in my marriage. Okay, check out. We are taking it easy. We are licking the soups once more because it's still hot. By the time it gets cold, hmm, and it's back and it more. Bruh, everything! Marriage, marriage, I have no. I rebuke you. Ch ch let me tell you. You know that the problem that girls of nowadays have is that they are so selfish. So if you are your husband, you will not fall in love with my... Look, you may go down the rock. My daughter bought it for me. Hey, check him out. So you don't want me to continue enjoying money. So, so go and me enjoy money. Are you... So, so go and I know the man, I know the man. Who told you you are in his love? Okay. Who told you that one woman can be enough for one man? There's no way a woman will be enough for a man. Or that possible? You people are dreaming. You people are dreaming. You people are dreaming thinking that once you marry a man, you keep it. You keep him to yourself. It is not possible. My daughter is... Oh my God. What? We must have to wear that hookah. Die, Mago. Die, Mago. Can we make sure that it has the same shape the same way now? To attract men. And you are... If, if you don't leave my compound this minute, if I go inside and come back, I will bet you with hot water. I have always told women, if you go into a man's house, he has money. If you get any get you should go another no no man about that it too. I don't want to come and eat small. Are you selfish? Stop being selfish. Now that point. They call now I got you okay for nonsense. Come again, you want one.
Hey, so you mean one Yike opened her mouth, eh, and said that she will pour hot water on you simply because you came to warn her to tell her daughter to stay off your husband, eh? No, 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 no. This is unacceptable. Yes. It's, it, it is unacceptable. You know what, eh? I'll report this to the Umadia meeting. By the time she appears before them, she will repeat what she told you. She will repeat it. What nonsense? Why will a woman like her be supporting evil? Why would she be doing that? What is this life even turning into? Eh? Vomiting her mouth and be saying that rubbish. This woman have the guts to tell me that uh, as an African man, every African man is entitled as many wives as possible. That my husband is entitled to having many wives. That the, the yeah, so that her daughter is not my problem. That I should go and fight my husband if I want to fight. She's very wicked. She said all this is to you. She must appear before Umwada so she will vomit those rubbish that she said. Eh? Susanna, I like the way you are standing up to what rightfully belongs to you. I like it. Eh? Just keep it up, oh. Don't relent. I like the way you are acting seriously. Especially now your husband's heart is beginning to come back to you and your children. I like it. God will see me through. Yes, bro, very well. See you through. <laughs> <laughs> My brother! <laughs> what is that you? Abdul and Abdul. Hey! Omo, oh, I've been looking around, using style to look for you in this town. Now, where have you been now? You know now. I went to the city to make money. But, hey. but I'm back now. No wonder. I've been using style to, to look for you. See, eh? Now, welcome. Oh. See, thank you, thank you. See. The story, since I came back, the story I'll be hearing about our friend, Emeka, I don't like it. What did you hear? It's about that girl that's so far with him now. I don't just like the story I'm hearing at all. Chibuzo, I have decided that I will never put my mouth in anything concerning Emeka again. I will never. I have warned him, I have begged him, I have talked to him, but he doesn't want to listen to me, so he has his own life to live. You should decide what he wants for, his, for, 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 for himself. That's true, Sha. That's true. Everybody get their life to you now. That is it, though. Tired. How far, how far now? What about that woman now? Which woman? You know now. For that, I mean, I need you. Oh, Mame Jima. Yeah, you want close to that market? I ah, she did now. She from ground. She did it. She still there. Oh, yeah, now. I go be now. Later, you get time. Don't worry. Now. Just come out now. Ah, one or two bottles. For the sake of old days now. What's so, up? Eh? One or two bottles. Hi. Hey. Hey, Letta. Jesus. Hey, come back, come back. Don't disgrace yourself. If you don't want people to hear my voice, come back here. Come back. I told me to. Come back. Let's talk you know, to you. But what are you doing here? And how did you get to this place? You still have the nurse to ask me stupid questions. He can ask you. Now listen and listen good. Stay away from my husband. Stay away! You know he's married with kids. Are you not aware? Why are you running up and down following my husband? Squandering his money. Look at me. Look at the way I do. Look at me. You're using this nonsense, nonsense thing to deceive my husband. Okay? This should be the very last time I warned you. See, I got my eyes on you. Nene. I don't care. But if I see you close to my husband again, if I see you close to my husband again, I'll make sure I strip you naked. I'll make video of you. I'll post you on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, everywhere. I will disgrace you. I will embarrass you. This is the last time I will warn you. Go and find your own. Go and find your own. Chukwe Mecca is a happily married man with children. I'm not a mocha, I'm not a wine. Or bro, Jesus Christ, Kega Moria. Stay away from him. Idiot. I shout. This 
did she get here? Hey, this is serious. My mother called me. She told me that she came to the house and asked her to warn me. Wait, you mean she went to your mother to ask her to warn you? I did not tell you. She went to our house in the village. And now, she came to my hostel. How did she manage to know my room? <sighs> this is where I'm scared. Hmm. This village wives, you'll be undirecting them as amateur, not knowing that they are mafians. Zebo Street. <sighs> I know what to do. I won't keep quiet because if I do, she will eventually carry out her threat. I think I know what to do. What exactly do you want to do? Just watch me. Hmm. Ne. Hmm? If if your girl in action. Hey. If your girl in action, now back on web and power. Stay away! Hey, hey. You are a snatcher. You need to have seen the face. It was written all over her. Would you be an house? I think she's bold. She's proud that she's enjoying another woman's husband. Eh? Why is she afraid now? Let her stay and fight you woman to woman mm -hmm. on her boss. She, she should have stayed now. With what I told her, eh. I know she will start avoiding my husband. <laughs> that is better for her oh, on it's her one. Awesome. Yes, that is what we want. Oh, boy, yeah. You got to move five because no, 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 no. But I go, I can't get a new because if not that you ignited the fire in me, eh? I wouldn't give me a single thing morale on Jawana. I wouldn't have, I would have been scared to confront her. But after you spoke to me, you name Ginger of my move was what I was for? talking to her, would be looking straight into her uh -huh. eyes. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, back. <laughs> Is that why you drove down to the village unannounced? Just because of this threat? Mama, that woman sounded so desperate. You need to hear the way she was threatening me. I was scared. <laughs> she cannot do more than she has done already. Don't you know women again? The only thing we know how to do is to rant. Cho, 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 cho. That's all. She has done her worst. So hey, relax. Are you saying I should not take her serious? You want to hear what I want to say, right? I am saying that you should not take her serious at all. Do you know the only assignment you have? Mm -mm. The assignment is just to keep collecting money from this man. Suck him. Suck him. As long as he's ready to bring money, keep stopping him. That's the only assignment. Forget about the woman. She's a nice baker. Eh, get back to Paulina. Mama, are you saying she's not going to carry out her threat? Hey, are you serious? <laughs> hey, not carry out her threat. She's not going to carry out the threat. But if she does, there's a way to stop her. What's that, Mama? Tell me. How? You see everything you see outside. I'll tell you when I get inside. Okay, Mama. Okay, Mama, let's go inside. See, there is no time. No time for anybody. I need to know now. Mama, you don't know. Mama, let's go now. There's no time. Mama, please go. She can't do anything. Oh, she can't mama. do anything.
message from Doris, what she's saying. This relationship is over. My life is in danger. Is this message meant for me? What exactly is she talking about? Whose life is in danger? This relationship is over. How can you send me this kind of message? What sort of message is this? What do you mean by this relationship is over? What did I do wrong to you? All the things you've ever asked of, I've done everything to you. I mean, what is it? I've provided for you several times. You've never asked of anything that I've never provided for you before. If it's money you need, why would you have to call over? The, why would you call off the relationship? Why? Okay, you're sending another one. Same message. Baby, this relationship is over. My life is in danger. What is going on now? Huh? About that new boyfriend of yours that was asking you out. That guy. Forget it. Ameka Redheart. Who is that? <laughs> oh, yes. Ameka. So, why are you not picking his call? It's a plan. It is called Game Plan. Game. And I'm very sure that the end results will be wonderful. Game Plan. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh, good night. I want to sleep. All right, good night. Hmm. I'm like a red heart. <sighs> the call or you put it on silent is disturbing me. Okay, okay whatever. Can you mm -hmm. also put off the light over there? Traits. I caught your phone several times. You weren't taking your calls. Because I don't want to talk to you. Do you know how far I had to go? I had to go as far as lying with my late mother just to make it out to sea because I don't even think I can survive it today if I don't see you. That is because I don't want to talk to you. Why? What did I do wrong to you? My life is in danger because of us. Because of you. 
I don't get it. I, I am confused. What are you talking about? The woman you called your wife. Susanna? What did she say to you? Doris, please, talk to me. She went to my mother, warned her against me. As if that was not enough. She came here. I, 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 I'm even wondering how she managed to find me. And she told me if I don't leave you, she will kill me. Please, you have to choose between both of us. Is it your wife or me? Because I don't want to lose my life because of anyone. Please. 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 Did you say my wife Susanna warned you? Does it look like I'm joking? Yes, go and deal with her. Rubbish. Ah, I don't understand the warning for what. to confront her. Well, I told that stupid thing to stay away from my... What you call stupid? Are you mad? You called her stupid thing. May I remind you that the girl you call stupid is the love of my life. The one who's giving me so much joy in this life. I never loved you and you knew it. You forced yourself on me because you helped me when my mother was dead. You came to feel the vacuum of her absence and then you feel it's a moral right for me to end up with you as my wife. But listen, this marriage is not working and if you don't like it anymore, use the door and go with your kids. Do I make myself clear? You know what? You don't love me. Is that what you're saying? And I'm saying it and I'm repeating myself again. I do not love you, can't you see? Can't you read it in my eyeballs that there is no love in this marriage you're crying out loud? So because of that thing, you're treating me. If you, if you repeat that again, if you again go hard that thing, I will descend on you. That's a matter of fact. Let me just go. If I just bring to your stars, you should change this mind where I am, you are dead. You say she's not a speck of a woman. You say she's so low for your life. You see her as a mistake that you make every day to I am sorry, my love. I am sorry for the embarrassment she caused you. I had to deal with her decisively over what she did this time around. As a matter of fact, what I did to her right now, she will never forget it till she dies. Are you sure? Of course I'm very sure. Do you know I had to beat her because of you? Yes, I had to mend her, I had to deal with her to prove to her that I value you more than I do over her. Everything is just for you. Anyway, just make sure that 
she doesn't carry out her threats. Oh, please, that's just a threat. She can't even hurt a fly, if you must know. Really? Yes, I know her too well. She can't hurt a fly. She was only blabbing. You know what they say about making? She was making mouth. Trust me, she was only making mouth. Mm. Is that look for me? Come on, give me that look again, baby. I love you. Oh my god, I love you more. Okay. Oh shit. What <laughs> is something about you? Look at me. Mm -hmm. I seem quite helpless. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sonny, happy. Where's your mother? We didn't see her. We have been waiting for her since. Other parents came to carry their children. So instead of waiting, I told Sonny that we should go. Do you know the road? Mm -hmm. How sure are you that you can beat oncoming vehicles and motorcycles when you see one? We can. Oh yeah. Who the brother? So that both of you will walk on the same lane. Okay? And please be very watchful about oncoming vehicles and motorcycles. Okay. okay. Don't talk to anybody. Don't say hi to anybody. Just concentrate and get home. Okay, okay I see. Oh. Bye. 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 What is going on? Are you sure their mother is alright? I mean, why didn't she go to school to pick them up? Hey. I just hope she's alright. I pray so. Slept off. So who brought you guys back? Nobody. Yes, nobody. But mom, why are you crying? I'm crying. No, I'm not crying. I'm fine. But your eyes are. Shh. Go inside. Keep your bags fresh and come out for your milk. Okay. Well, let's go. Okay. So sorry. Don't come to you. Yeah. Yeah. Go. I'm so sorry. Sleep. You are a genius. You need to see the way he was begging me. He had to go and beat her up with a strong warning never to try it again before he came back and begged me. Hmm. <laughs> that is how it should be. It should be like that. Look at When you go there, you bends in a bit of a marker. Eh? Or water. Na tuke tuke. And I'm Look at you now. One more chala, one more chala. Or so soon. Hey, hey. Where's the way to get that man with you? 
She does not have now. I know who I gave birth to. Oh, 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 I gave birth to you. As na agwa na amu ye de kuku agwa na amu ye de rogo rogo. Pino pino. Oh, you know. Oh, ah, where can? Baba, please don't blow my head off because you're already blowing my head off. Be cool. Hey, ana ma kwana aka. Do not worry. Obu no si ni fa na eme nwere isi. Eburi isi onya watinye nia. Eh, if I name him, see you immediately. Ozugo, Mama. Ozugo. No, Mama. Ozugo. Don't worry, Mama. I am coming next week. I'm coming to give you a treat. A special treat, Mama. Because you deserve it. I am coming home. I love you, Mama. I love you. I love you. Bye bye. I don't care more. want to call you. He left everything he was doing in Page. Drove straight down here. After I told him everything that happened, he drove to his wife, beat up his wife thoroughly, came back and apologized. Hmm. You can't believe it. He went back to PH today. Are you serious? I'm not kidding you, my sister. See, this thing you are saying you are not going to marry this guy will not work at all. This guy loves you very much. Oh, please. Who is talking about love? If it's a joke, please stop that nonsense. Don't even say it again. I don't want to fight with you. I have told you, I am just cashing out. Cashing out, okay? But the reason you are cashing out successfully is because the guy in question loves you very much. Do you think it's that easy to be cashing out from one particular guy all because of sex? Babe, chaos plenty. Pussy full everywhere. Sex is too cheap, very cheap. Really? Yes. And I am not one of those random girls. I'm not one of those cheap girls or one of those cheap people. Come on, this is Doris. The endowed Doris. Hello. Who are the hot Akara? Hey, Del, 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 Del. Don't even go there, please. And you know so well to compare me with those cheap girls. Please, love it. Hello. Easy, easy, easy. Thank you. I didn't do anything bad by falling in love with him. I didn't do anything bad in accepting to stay back after everyone deserted him when the mother died. I didn't ask him to come make love to me. I, I only volunteered to keep him company. <laughs> Susanna. Susanna. Yes, what is it? Um, I, I'm feeling so lonely. I'm also scared of sleeping alone in the bedroom. So please, can I join you and sleep here? Yes. 
Susie. I'm so sorry for what just happened. I never knew you were still a virgin. I'm so sorry. You don't have to be. You did not rape me. I consented to it. I am even happy that I lost my virginity to the very first man I have ever loved in my life. So, don't say sorry. You did me no wrong. He actually knew he was apologizing for. Now I know better. He was apologizing because when I thought we made sweet love, he knew it wasn't love making. He knew he was just taking advantage of the poor girl who volunteered to help out. Emeka, the last thing I would do is to beg you to love me. Go to the one you love. I will never stop you from going to her since you chose her over me. There is no problem. Hey, oh yeah, it's not me that Keke man will disappoint. We'll just go to Joshua and take another Keke. Where, where, where are we going? We are going to our new house. Our new house? New house. Mm, is Ali packing with us? Uh -uh. Your daddy is not coming with us. You know you people are still children. But when we get to the house, I'll explain so many things to you guys. Oh, for now, we have to be on our way. Hey, yeah, we are security. Go, 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 go. Come and take this kid. When your guy comes back, tell him that we have gone. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Hello? Oga, good morning. Ah, GF, good morning. How are you? Oga, I do. Oga, problem do. What problem? Madam, don't carry our bag, all our bag with the children. They don't get that care come off for us. So I talk to you like this now, eh? Then give me the asking, the main asking for my hand. They don't lock the ass, give me the key. Um, it's okay. I heard you just keep the key for me. I'll come back by the weekend. Eh? You heard me. Just make sure you take care of the household. You don't cut call. Hi! This small guy, wicked do. You know even show calm. You know even show calm. Say, your wife and the children don't come off for us. Make a kid the key, say you come. Hi! This is our new home. I know it's not all that comfortable. It will not be as comfortable as where we are coming from. But we need peace. It's better we stay here and stay safe than we stay there and die here. No. Why does that hurt us? It's okay. It's okay. The most important thing is that we have a new home. We are where we can be happy. We are where nobody will maltreat us or make us feel less of ourselves. So let's go inside. I promise to make you happy. Oh? I want both of you to be very comfortable in this house. Don't be scared. Yeah? This is my grandmother's house. My father and my mother lived here before both of them died in a car accident on the same day. This is where I was living as a young girl, working hard, trying to make ends meet before I meet the father my husband. So after I met him, our background are almost the same. 
He lost his mother. Everything was tearing apart for him. I had to move in with him. So this is where I was living before I moved in to live with your father. Why am I telling you this little story? Because I want you to be comfortable. I want you to know that our safety, our peace of mind is what is most important. Instead of staying in that mansion where we don't have peace of mind, where your father treats us anyhow, I would rather we stay here and have peace of mind. And I would do everything within my powers to make sure that I make both of you comfortable. Mm. Then why did we leave daddy's house? I thought you said he has changed. Yes, but he started caring for us while we were there. You are a baby. Both of you are children. There are so many things you cannot understand till you grow up. Okay? So for now, let's be here. Huh? We'll go to school from here. I will try to get something doing so I can take care of both of you. Don't worry. Nanugo, mm -hmm. hmm? you know mommy loves you. Mm. You know mommy loves you so much. And mommy will do everything to make you happy. Hey, my daughter, Mama, I've been meaning to ask you this. But I think it's necessary now. What is your plan about this young man, Emeka? What kind of plan, Mama? Imagine. What I mean is this. Now that the wife and the children have left him, don't you think of moving in with him officially? Mama. You want me to marry him? You're going to marry him now. You are supposed to marry him now. Or you don't want to marry him. I'm, I'm not in love with him. I just love his money. That's why. I'm in love with somebody else, Mama. Yes. Okay, you don't love him. You are in love with his money. Wait, let me tell you something. You do not know. You know I am more experienced than you in this business, eh? Mm -hmm. Once there's money and you love money, the love for the money is the love for every other love you need in that marriage. What am I saying? Get ready and marry that man. Oh man, immediately. Mama. I know what you want. A rich in-law. That's all you want. Money. Money. Mama, don't worry. Don't worry yourself. I got you. <laughs> they want you. You know about this thing. A bed that hand is worth more than millions in the bush. That's my fear. Don't worry you. So you don't trust me? You don't even trust your daughter that you trained. Mama, you don't trust me. You think I'm a fool? All those money you see me throwing around, where do you think I get it from? You think it's only a mecca? <laughs> there are more. More people than a maker. Yes. <laughs> so don't worry yourself. <laughs> I would give you money. I will get you a rich in law. I will marry a rich man, a wealthy man who has money to spend. You want money, right? You want car, big house. You want to be eating chicken. You know me now. <laughs> I trust you, my daughter. I'm going to I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. I told you, I know what you can do. Now you are talking, Mama. Yeah. See, what we'll do is, let's just keep a maker where he belongs. Who can give me the key? Mama, you like money. Mama, you go. Mama, you go. Money. Wait for that. Mama, please. Don't worry yourself. You have nothing to fear. I would make sure you enjoy yourself. Money, Mama. <laughs> when we thought it was all over, when we are all happy and celebrating his change, and then he decides to go back to his normal ways again. Ah, <sighs> Nim. He didn't go back to his normal ways. It became worse. Do you know my husband looked me in the eyes and told me that he's not in love with me, that he has never loved me. Arabam, after everything I did for him, after all my sacrifice, all my impute, Kwa Mad, Chukwemeka decided to choose a prostitute over a wife, a liability over an asset, a slut over a prayerful, virtuous woman. 
If not for me, he wouldn't have been where he is today. But he decided to forget everything. What you through yesterday? Oh, name and your I never loved you. Hey, but it's okay. It is okay. There is no point crying for what is gone. I had already given up on that marriage. I had given up on love. Let him go with the love of his life. Nya gaban no kan zuo ike once and for all. Onye don don eme love. Susanna. Ma unku before my time. Susanna, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Stop enumerating all these things. It will keep breaking your heart over and over again. Just let it go. My dear, my heart has seen it all. What is it that I've not seen? This my heart is shattered already in a cocoa breaking. Nothing breaks me anymore. <gasps> Whatever happens now, I'll just look at it and smile because I've seen worse. My experience in my matrimonial home is something I never wish. I will never wish even my worst enemy. Egan on a mansion, there is money. You have husband, but you're living like a widow. I know, it's okay. Everyone needs this. Oh? Oh. Man, eh? Is open. I don't like here. Yes, I don't like this place at all. Uh, I have discussed with my husband before coming here, and he has agreed to give you and your children a room in our house. Don't worry. Oh? Don't bother yourself. Mm. You know me, I don't like being parasites now. Mm. I don't like being a madden soul. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is my great parents' house. This is where I was living before I met Emeka and fell in love. Don't worry yourself. Mm. Nothing will happen to me. I'm comfortable here. Is it not me that trained Emeka? Is it not me that helped him to actualize his goal? Don't worry. Oruko I will just make sure that I am very hardworking. I will save some money, then I will take it up from there. Don't bother yourself. Oh? And moreover, you people have done so much for my children and I. I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate. I wonder what I would have done without you guys. It's okay. What our best is for? If I don't do it for you and your kids, who will I do it for? Eh? Hey. It is well already for me to have come out with my life. Yeah. Oh, when you went to war first, though. Oh, yeah, Life. But in case you change your mind, you can come over, oh? Don't worry. I'm always here. I can always visit you. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. See the pain I'm being through All because of love Each step is so painful Honestly, I'm lost the loneliness I face, the endless tears I shed, my heart is torn apart. On Yezikam the Quran. See the pain I'm being through All because of love each step is so painful, honestly I'm lost. The loneliness I face, the endless tears I shed, my heart is torn apart. On Yezikam Gakoro. With you. But what we go to school today? Oh, what are you going to eat today? Mommy, wake up. Come and talk to us. Mommy, talk to us. Mommy. Mommy. What do we do now? Who do we call? 
I don't know. Mommy, please wake up now. She shuts up my love and betrays my trust. Mommy, we are already late for school. Yes. Pure water! Pure water! Pure water! Come, 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 come. Come! What is this? There is nothing good about this afternoon. Now, who gave you this thing to sell? Where is your mother? Why you need you to go to school? Why? My mother is very sick. She can't talk. She can't even open her mouth. She can't even. Open our eyes. We we're so hungry that we took some such as pure water so that we could sell and get some money to buy food. Yes, sir. Emeka! Emeka! It will never be well with you. For bringing these children into this world and allowing them to suffer away, where you can actually afford their education and give them a good life. So, why didn't people come to my house to tell me or my wife what happened to your mother? Why, why, why? What have you eaten? We ate only biscuits and drank water. Biscuit and water? Oh. Listen, both of you, this is the first and the last. You won't sell this water again. Do you understand me? Huh? We are living here right now. Come on. Now, oh yeah, let's go. Hey, madam, I'm coming. Are they come? Are they come? Are they come? Give me, give me your hand. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Come on, take it. What really happened? She didn't wake up early to prepare us for school. When we woke up, we saw her lying like this. We tried waking up her up, but no response. It's okay. It's fine. Right? Nothing happened to your mother. So I will go out there to get a car so I can take her to the hospital. I'll drop with my wife. She'll take care of you people. All right, you'll be fine. Now, don't go anywhere. Thank all right? you, sir. It's okay, it's okay. I'm coming, all right? Thank don't you, go sir. anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay? Mom, Mom please wake up now. If you try to wake her up, how will she be able to? We'll have to run a series of tests on her to um, ascertain what the problems are. For now, we will not commence treatment on her till the test results are out by tomorrow. So, um, doctor, can I, can I see her now? Sure, you'll have to be around. She'll need to see a familiar face by the time she wakes up. It's fine, I'm around. I'll just hang around. Just one to so I can see her. Okay. Thank you, doctor. She hasn't woken up till now. Hey. Yes. Um, the doctor suggested I leave. That she'll be awake by morning. And by then, all the test results will be out. Child, you have really tried for your friend, though. God will bless you. Hmm? What friend are you talking about? Emeka? You think I'm doing all these things because of Emeka? I'm doing all this because of Susanna and her kids. I'm not seeing me make a good friend. Nah. <sighs> By the way, where are they? They're inside sleeping. Oh, are they eating? 
Sure, I'll bring them food. That's nice. Okay. I trust you. See now while I get your food for you. Oh, my, I know you my, want my it. My wife. Mm -hmm. Well, actually. <laughs> All right, I'm waiting. I'll be right back. Yeah. She has malaria. She has typhoid. She's six weeks pregnant. Her blood pressure is high. Try. Um, where is her husband and why is he not taking care of her? <sighs> Doctor, just talk to me. Forget about that fool, please. Well, um, she has um, accumulated a lot of sicknesses and um, no medication, no checkups, nothing. So, um, Doctor, what's the way forward? We'll have to commence um, treatment immediately. And um, you also need to make um, more payments. It's fine, it's fine. So, um, first thing first, can I see her? I'm fine. Right, so I should ask the what is that place? Thank you. After school, she'll bring them here. Alright? Thank you so much. May God bless you and your wife for you. Thank God you respond you. The only thing you know how to do is to just live with this woman and put her in family. You don't care about her well-being. Listen, the wife almost died yesterday. Oh, you're asking me how I knew? Okay. Now I saw your children hawking at the market square yesterday. I saw them hawking and make your own children hawking and make you that is very rich. Now, they said she's unconscious in the house. I had to go to the house yesterday Picked her, and thank God I even came. Brought her to the hospital only for the doctor to tell me that she is, she's so down with malaria, typhoid, it make her high blood pressure. And to grant it all, she is pregnant with your own child. Listen, doctor asked me to deposit money. I deposited 100,000, and they need 200,000, and they need more money for other things too. So please, why am I even saying please? It's your wife. So send 200,000 Naira, you have my details, my account details, so send it. Nonsense. It's fine. It's fine. You'll be alright, okay? You will send the money. I have to visit 100,000 already. Okay? Was good today. Fine. Was fine. Thank God they are awake. How are you feeling now? Sister, I'm a lot better. I don't even know how to start appreciating you and your husband. May God bless you guys for me. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And my children, who are you? Who asked you and your sister to go and hug pure water? Eh? Why did you go to hug pure water? You were hungry and you didn't say anything. But we have money in that room now, eh? We have money in that room. What if one reckless drunk driver had knocked one of you on the road? Can you hear Marco? What would I have said? Please, be open. 
both of you know you are all I have. Unana, no? Are you listening to mommy? Mm. Please don't walk pure water next time. Okay. Biko, no matter the situation, just go and meet your auntie. Don't walk pure water. Come, you off. Oh? So, you know mommy loves you, right? Yes. So, Yana, please go. Eh? It's okay. God actually used their innocent move to save your life. Okay? Oh, um, to me, I don't think there's need you blame anyone here. We should thank God for saving your life. Oh, I love my babies. I love you too. I love you too. It's okay. Everything will be fine. <coughs> Please, be cool. Eh? If you can listen to me, take these children back to their father's house. Mama, you need what are you even begging me for? To take my children back to a place where we are not loved, cared for, or valued. Is that what you're telling me? Of course we live in a mansion, but we don't wear good clothes. We don't eat good food. My husband they don't care about me or my children. I had already given up on that relationship or marriage. He should go ahead with the love of his life. They can continue. You see, for me, no, I'd rather be in the bush than be in a mansion where my husband is not treating me right. Susanna, have you considered the baby in your womb? It's not me. I understand. Don't worry. Uh -huh. I will give birth and take care of my child. For my children, I'll make sure they are comfortable. 